We now created the XML profile so we can use this profile to dynamically reference its data elements. We learned how to use the set property shape earlier, so let's set a dynamic output file using the set property shape. We use multiple parameters to create complex dynamic values for file names or directories. As we'll soon show, one method is to use a profile element. Let's learn how to use these elements within the document to dynamically set a file name so our process makes more sense. Let's say we're reading many files and we're getting the proper data. Now we wish to write them individually to disk. So the naming convention makes it easy to understand what is contained in each file. In the earlier process execution, the file names were simply using a timestamp marked in milliseconds. Using this naming convention really doesn't tell us much about the data contained in the files. Now let's observe these file names. If we could use this naming convention, we understand the file's relative context. We could get more complex, but even with this simple naming convention, we understand which document the account is for. Let's think about where this name came from. Somewhere in the data, there is a reference to the company name. We can refer to this element by using a profile. We are using the XML profile earlier and simply use the set property shape to pull in the profile element. Now I'm going to show you how to set a dynamic file name based off an XML profile that we just created. This is activity number 10 in your book. We're going to set a file name and test our process. In our account XML.csv, we're going to click on Shapes and we're going to drop and drag the set property shape onto the canvas. In our set property shape, we're going to set a property, so we're going to come over here and click on the plus. The type of property is going to be a document property, and we're going to expand disk and we're going to set the file name. Once we highlight this, we have the ability to see the parameters. We're going to click on the plus symbol and add a parameter. The first type of parameter we're going to create is a profile element. The profile type we're going to be using is XML, and the profile is going to be in our Boomi Essentials. This is going to be our account XML. We're going to choose a field from there. The field we're going to select is the company name field. We'll click on OK. This is going to give us the company name. It's going to be dynamic but we always want to have the same extension on it. So what we're going to do is create a static extension because it's always going to have the same extension. We're going to click on the plus, we clicked on the plus, it defaulted to the type of static, which is what we want, and we want it to be type XML. We'll now click on OK, and you'll see that we have the company name dot XML. We're going to click on the OK button. Now we're going to bring this up. If we were to run it the way it is right now, it'll go out and get the FTP. It'll get our information, our files, and then it'll write them to disk. This particular item here in the middle does not get executed. Is to move the line from the disk and attach it to the set properties, and then attach the set property shape to disk. So now we have the start the set properties, and then disk. We're going to give it a run. Using our test datum cloud, it goes through our start, then it goes to set properties, and now it comes over here for our output of disk. We're going to be able to tell that this worked simply by selecting our connection data, and we'll see that the file name is Bacalcorp. When I come down to here to my second record, you'll see that my file name is Pasco Communications. Both of these files have a .xml extension. 
When you're setting up your set property shape, it's important for you to understand your parameter order. The name is actually built from top to bottom with the first parameter in the list. So ours was the company name. The second parameter list was the static value of .xml. So that's how we got it to be company name .xml. This concludes our video, but please complete the exercise before moving on to the next video.